Hello everyone and welcome to System Recipes. In today's video I'm going to show you how to install and configure Active Directory on Windows Server 2012 R2. Before we start with the installation, make sure that you have a static IP address assigned to your server. So let's start with the installation. To start with the installation, let's go to the Server Manager. In the Server Manager, if you click on Add Roles and Features, or else just go to manage and click on add roles and features click next click next over here if you select the server that you want to install active directory as you see I just got one server so I'll just click next and from the roles if you select active directory domain services click add features click next click next again click next again and I will tick mark saying restart the server automatically if required click yes and click install As you see over here, the installation has succeeded. So click close. Now we need to configure a domain controller. So we have installed Active Directory. Now we need to promote the server to a domain controller. Okay, so click on that. Now it's going to ask you add a domain controller to existing domain or else add a new domain controller to an existing forest or add a new forest because this is the first domain controller and I don't have any other domain installed I will have to click on add a new forest a forest is um, is a totality of your network and as it this is going to be my first domain control it has to be a forest first so I would click on add a new forest and I'll give the domain name for me it is so for the domain name that I want is systemrecipes.com once you enter your domain name click next over here it's basically talking about your forest functional level and domain functional level I really don't need to worry about this because um, this is the first domain controller that I'm installing and it's a Windows Server 2012 R2 but what it means is if you got um, Windows Server 2008 domain network and you're installing a new domain controller and you got Windows Server 2012 R2 installed you can downgrade the level to R2 2008 or 2008 hour to whichever it is but by doing this it will cut off some features from your Windows Server 2012 so if you're doing this in that sort of environment then yes but for me I don't really need to worry about it over here as you see because Active Directory is integrated with DNS you got to install DNS as well as well as you got global catalog because this is the first domain controller it has to have a global catalog uh, make sure that you got a directory restore service restore mode password um, this password is usually used in case of troubleshooting and especially when things go wrong uh, make sure that you keep a note of that password and then click next over here it's giving me a warning saying a delegation for DNS server cannot be created yes uh, that's perfectly fine because um, this is the first domain controller that I'm installing and yeah that's fine so you click next it's then going to choose the NetBIOS name make sure that any, nobody else has the same NetBIOS that's perfectly fine if it if this name has been used by somebody else then it's going to give you a warning message uh, click next it's now showing you the 
databases and the path towards the databases uh, you got database folder NTDS uh, Windows slash NTDS that's where your NTDS dot dit file is saved uh, NTDS dot dit is the file that shows your active directory it's basically the database file um, all your logs are also saved in the same folder and syswar folder again so it's just giving you can actually move this to a different location if you want to but I don't really think that really needed for me let's click next over here it's giving you basic information about your server uh, another new feature that Windows Server 2012 has is this view script basically you can copy this and then use it and exploit it basically to install more domain controllers using PowerShell obviously click next now it's going to do a prerequisite check um, don't really worry about this warnings that have been given um, it's something to do if you're working with Windows NT which I'm not uh, this is again with something to do with the DNS which is fine uh, as you see on top over here the pr it's successful so we're good to install so let's click on install as you see um, the server needs to be restarted I will say close So the server now has restarted and as you see over here in your server manager you got Active Directory Domain Services and DNS installed. So if I just click on that you'll see all of this. So basically your Active Directory has now been installed. You can just go to Active Directory over here ADDS and right click the server and you'll see all the services that you can use basically the most common one that we use is Active Directory users and computers okay the other way that you can access those tools is by going to tools and then you see if all your tools are here you also got DNS so let's go to users and computers and this is the directory okay so if you go down you got all your computers over here all the users for your domain all the users and groups basically and so on okay and also what we got over here is a DNS because we have installed DNS as well because it's integrated so mm, DNS manager same way you could go to tools and click on DNS and if you scroll down you see you got forward lookup and reverse lookup but if you, as you see over it has created a zone for the new domain systemrecipes.com and it's basically forwarding you see over here the server name was DC and it's forwarding it to that IP address so everything that you connect uh, to this domain will automatically have um, a a record kind of with the IP address connected to the host okay so that's it for today's video uh, I hope you like this video and please click the like button if you have liked this video and thanks for watching